Hello everyone. Hello. It's Maddie and Madison with Spectrum, with Spectrum Art. Absolutely. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, click on the description box and, below. And, and please comment. Yes. Make sure you guys leave us a comment, leave us a thumbs up um, if you like what we're going to share. And subscribe. But let's get right into it. I wanted to talk about something that we started uh, discussing during the live um, earlier this week or last week, I believe. And wanted to to kind of i started working on the project and then i realized wait a minute why am i not actually showing you guys the process on how to go ahead and get it done and give you some ideas and inspiration and so i decided to go ahead and stop what i was doing and just hop on really quick catch you up to where i'm at now and then show you the um the completion okay so kind of a different um start there but um we were talking about books we were talking about books um that you can pick up usually especially the kitty books the library. you can pick up yeah at the local library and you can pick up even um at garage sales estate sales uh online sales um you know all kinds of platforms right online platforms for four bucks uh sometimes even under uh i know when we've done auctions we've sold books for a dollar so but the thing is sometimes we kind of stick to the same type of books we we love our butterflies our um, vintage looking books and there's nothing wrong with that we have tons of those uh, and we love them and we use them right but sometimes we kind of look at these books and especially the kitty books and we just kind of go eh. Uh, well at least some people do and i wanted to to kind of encourage you to rethink it if you would um to think about the uh, beautiful artwork and the amount of stuff that you can actually get out of these books for, like I said, under $4. If you go anywhere and you buy a pack of ephemera, if you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby, um, nothing wrong with that. But two things. Number one is everyone has pretty much the exact same ephemera as you do, right? Uh, like the Tim Holtz people and stuff like that. Number two, you end up paying $7, sometimes three, four, five, six, seven dollars for some ephemera, right? where you can actually get just as much, if not more so, out of a book. So let's go ahead and look into these. These are just five random books that I went ahead and just uh, grabbed from uh, Madison Stack. And some of them she already started working with. She actually made a pocket out of this one already. Um, and first of all, you get a library card, you get inner papers. I just want you to start thinking about these books. Look, there's images, you have... Um, what you call banners uh just look at these images yeah. you know if you're going to print these think about the ink that you would actually use right so and nothing wrong i love by the way buying digi kits i i buy lots of digi kits i use digital kits um one of my favorite shops is um uh what you call it uh, huh no honey no honey i just went blank why am i going bl blank Oh my gosh, I'll link it down below because I am completely like brainless. Oh my gosh, Tracy Fox. How can I forget the name? Hello, love her stuff. Buy tons from her uh, on Etsy, but I'll still link it down below. Anywho, um, and I'll link a couple of other favorite ones. How's that? But um, Tracy Fox has amazing digital stuff envelopes pockets and all that so i always buy those but again you also have books that will have some different stuff um so this is one right here and here's another one actually madison see she's already started pulling this one apart she's already started the one let's see what's this one called it's called are there any questions and you also get the cover of course if you want to use that but look at all the images that she's already started pulling on this one so i'm not gonna mess too much so i don't mess her stuff here's another one what's that one called this one is called big cat dreaming look at these colors okay. i didn't even know she had this book it's beautiful but look at these images right and big pages and you know all that right okay um you guys get the idea this is another one that i think um madison might have started working yeah molly oh yeah see here it is she's cut out some images so look how cute those are okay now i'm going to show you what i started working with um this was um a book uh it's called my daddy was a soldier beautiful um illustrations 
These are colored, but on the inside, they're actually just black and whites. Now, let me tell you, this is the cover. See, I've already gutted the whole book. I am still going to go ahead and use, first of all, I'm going to remove this, um, like so, the dust jacket, right? And I have this beautiful book cover. Look how beautiful that is, right? So we've got that. And then on top of that, oh, I'm going to be a little careful with that. So on top of this beautiful jacket that we can go ahead and um, use for making a journal, we've got this dust jacket cover, right, that we can actually go back and even pull these images out of here uh, as well. Hopefully the glare is not too bad. Sorry about that. It's very glossy, very plasticky, right? Is that a word? Plasticky? I, so. I just made it a word. How's that? Okay, let me show you what actually came out. And this book... Um, originally had 18 pages i want to say yeah. well that was a fun project it was it was do you want to show them what we've made yeah okay so what do you want to show them first what was this one a corner tuck a corner tuck, tuck. very good so this is going to be a corner tuck to go into the book uh-huh that was one of our mm -hmm. one of your favorites yeah, yeah it was um and of course we still have the um, the book cover, right? Which we had talked about. It's a beautiful book cover. So this is going to go um, on a page somewhere like this and become a tuck. I think most of you are familiar with tucks, but if you're not, it's just a place to be able to tuck. Um, you actually glue it down on two of the um, sides and then it becomes a pocket tuck kind of thing. And of course we use the, um, the title of the book and this cute little girl. Okay, and what else, Madison? So we did one corner tuck. A bookmark. A bookmark. We went ahead and used the paper and made a pocket and made a bookmark to go inside of it. Mm -hmm. We reinforced it with um, cereal box. And if you notice, we gessoed um, the um, writing itself so that you can actually journal on it now. And we went ahead and put that cute little boy image on there. Mm -hmm. And by the way, where you see this, this is actually um, paper. It's almost like rice paper um, that we went ahead and used just to kind of mute out. Um, so it can, again, be used to uh, to journal or write on. What else? Right, large tags. Two large tags. Yes, we did. So here's one. And we went ahead and sorted a black um, eyelid because we thought it would go so well with the black and white images. And once again, we use some oxides and some white gesso to mute out the words. Here's another one of those images. And it's ready for any kind of journaling or maybe um, a remark, uh, you know, but again, they're really nice and large size um, tags. Sure the, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is remember, any of these images are now ready to be colored in. You can color them in uh, if you'd like. I mean, I love the black and white look, but sure. What's the, what are these? pockets. Simple pockets, yes. So we've made some simple pockets and we'll go through those. Um, so as you can see, this is a pocket here and they're ready to be glued down. You know, if you wanna glue them down into a book or if you just wanna insert some really nice pretty tags because the back is so pretty as well, right? So there's one, here's two, and this one's kind of cool because it's actually 3D. Well, let me show you the back but it's actually 3D. Do you see how we used a girl and we popped her, um, propped her up on pop dots? And so she is kind of... dots, Pop dots, oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, she looks like, you know, she's actually uh, 3D out of the picture. Mm -hmm. Then we made this one, the girl laying down. And again, that's a simple pocket. There's the back. This one, the back is not particularly great. So this would probably be one that I would glue down. Mm -hmm. This one was kind of cool. It was a collage of several different different pieces. So this was um, like a train station scene, I believe. But the lights kind of worked out. And then we put this lady. And it almost looks like she's in a greenhouse gardening. So then we took another one of the images and we collaged it and popped that up on Pop Dots. So it's actually like one, two, three layers. Um, it's really neat looking um, and very interesting. And then, of course, again, we... We kind of killed um, some of that 
uh, writing in the back but this one it might be one that I might also um, glue down as well because not too interesting in the back but not you know nothing horrible about it then this was a really big pocket right it's huge I mean you could put a lot of stuff in there right it's a big and um, but once again we went ahead and took the um, the images and we went ahead and propped them up so it looks like they're actually you know kind of walking down the street and there's a you know the tram in the background so that one's very cool as well look at how many we've gotten so far guys oh my gosh we're gonna run out of room really quick here is another one again this one is a tall uh, pocket it's a simple one and you see the lady also 3d uh, carrying her suitcase and there's the rest of that train station where that background came from my question okay mm -hmm. why'd you do like that mm-hmm because that's cool. cute isn't it cool. this one um, actually this is not a simple pocket this one is a simple pocket this is the one that we had done during the live and yes we had done the uh, oxides on it um, as well as these but these oxides we did not mute down these we did we actually added white gesso on too so again two totally different looks with the exact same product right um, so depending on which one you'd like that's an option for you okay what else Madison a flip mm -hmm. we make two flips actually right yep so these are kind of neat because of the fact that um, the back is been left blank the idea is that you actually glued this down that's why this flap is left there intentionally we actually glue that down right and then you have a flip in one of your journals that you can journal here uh, and still have this really pretty image but on top of that we went ahead and also left this as a smaller pocket see so you can still tuck something in there and still have the uh, the flip all right what else Madison oh here's another one this one is just the image and she's gardening I guess and again we left that piece and now this is going to be a side flip right so this will get glued down onto a book and then this will flip out so you can journal on it and then still have a really pretty picture in the front so we made two of those flips then we went ahead and did what Madison then we went ahead and made some envelopes yep. so let's go through those this is the one that we started to show you earlier it is a an envelope it's got a it says welcome home um, and it's got the um, the picture of the soldier actually also 3d and there's the back so you can still use the back mm -hmm. one second baby what is it yeah one second here is another envelope we love that star so we went ahead and kind of tore the uh, tissue uh, paper around the uh, the star to kind of leave it on there but here's the back it's not pretty with the Christmas tree so cute imagine coloring all those on right we talked about that here is um, another one this one's very cool again it's 3d it's almost like they're superimposed into that um, background and here's the back and again another really nice generous pocket in there okay are you guys keeping track of how much stuff we pulled out of one book it's amazing isn't it here's another one I guess they're getting ready to plant maybe or, or something I guess but this would be so beautiful to actually color the background in watercolors and then maybe leave the fence and the girls in black and white oh that would look dreamy so um, and here's that one here is another one what do you think they're doing she's hugging her mummy like we hug each other yay and then here's this one I love this one because it's already got the boy ma mailing out something so it's an envelope with an envelope how cool is that right and then we've got what else let me put in this way so you guys can see the beautiful images huh because that's the idea then we've got this one and I love how it had that writing on there you know if it's if it's something that you do not like you can always cover that up but I did really actually like that and I love how it's got part part of the story 1941 uh, on the inside uh-huh and then we made what these two tall envelopes, envelopes yeah. right and you can add um, a brad closure right if you want it to uh, but see nice and tall it's like a coin envelope isn't it pretty cool and here's a second one 
Oh, like the seed package, you mean? Yeah, if it was shorter, it would have been a seed packet. But look how beautiful that image is. Yeah. And what else? Oh my gosh, we're still going, guys. Cards. And last but not least, is that it? Yeah. Okay, we made two cards. Here is the first one. So here's the front and back. And it's just a card that you can tuck into um, a journal or just send out, right? Um, and this one, we actually went ahead and left a... We made that one into a side tuck as well. So you can tuck something in there. A gift card, a thought, a sentiment, a poem, a picture. But it's so cute because it's the mom and the little girl. And then here she is in, you know, in a larger picture. And I love that she's got braids and you can tell that she's the same girl. But here's that. And then we made another card and this one's a little bit bigger. And the cool thing about this one is we actually went ahead and left also a pocket in this one. And this one's got a much bigger pocket. See that it goes from there all the way to here to the car. And and this is again done with the the inner um the in and outer uh, pages right of the book. And then we kind of just tore the scene because we had this really pretty scene and it has the card too, which we thought oh kind of cool. Um, we tore that scene and just kind of put it there. It looks like a brick wall that's kind of peeking through and plenty of room to write. And then of course the back of the book, I love how it even has a like a piece of like old tape on there. Um, and there you go. So did you guys keep track? Oh, and by the way, we still have the book cover, right? I mean, the, the hard cover, um, which we can go ahead and fill and even use it to, to add un signatures in there and use all of the stuff that we've made or some of the stuff that we made to put back in there. Um, then of course we still have the two covers which are like a glossy finish and with those um, my goodness well again we can make pockets we can make envelopes with these we can um, leave them as is and just maybe make some big pockets right to go ahead and uh, and put on the cover so we can do a whole bunch of stuff with these as well. And we have our library card, right? Which has been all stamped and so cool. It's got dates from the 90s. Um, so yeah, eight simple pockets, six rectangle um, envelopes, two large tags, two cards, one bookmark, one corner tuck, two flips, and two tall um, envelopes. So 24 pieces that we can now utilize to do a journal or just a gift or just to go ahead and make a set out of plus sure. the hard cover and the soft covers yep. and the library card so 24 25 26 27 28 different pieces guys out of one simple book <laughs> no right and it's so much fun to do these um so once again we hope you guys enjoy it you we hope that you guys will try it and please Please share in your group. Oh yeah, and share it with friends, right? We'll see you all back soon. Bye. Blessings, bye.